it's always nice leaving the garage and just knowing that this is what we're heading into either way we've got a nice warm coffee for now and uh, I think if it stops raining a little bit we'll chuck that big white tarp over the boat just to keep stuff slightly dry but we'll see how it goes it's gonna be I can already tell you what this day is gonna be like Welcome. We have made it to the boat and I don't know if the rain has is less or not. At least it's less windy than in the garage. We can work today. It's dry inside and we're going to make it even dry. We brought this tarp back and uh, while we were there we picked up two surfboards because we thought if there's nothing else to do to get this boat prepped we could just jump onto the surfboards. I'm going to get wet anyway in the water, so we'll see. We'll chuck that on. We'll work on the through holes, the bilge pump, and then we'll see if we could do anything else. Otherwise, we'll just go and grab lunch and go surfing. Anyway, let's chuck that over the boat anyway. And uh, just to like, I don't know, you can use it now for the rain, keep the deck a bit dry, whatever. Open some windows with that over. And also when it's hot, it'll keep the boat from getting so hot inside. We have two tarps, a big one and a small one. This is the small one, so it wasn't much point putting it over at the uh, superstructure. So here it is quite nice though, because at least it can't rain in there and it can't rain in there. Oh, the back's another story, but at least this is nice and cozy. Cozy. And when it's hot, we can like pull it all the way up and tighten it over the shipyard and have a bit of shade while working. I think another time I have to go and get the other tarp for the superstructure. Anyway, let's head into this nice, warm, dry, cozy boat. Grab some of the elbow joints and hose connectors, and then we can install the bilge. We, I think we can install two bilge pumps with no return return valves, and then we can install the other one with just the elbow joint and the hose connector, and then we'll do the hose later. I think that instead of showing what he's doing, I'll describe it because that area is very, very tight. He has got the Teflon tape and he's just going over it. And then uh, I'm gonna go in here with a little bit of liquid gasket and then we're gonna tighten this by hand until it stops and we'll do one more circle after tightening it by hand. And then we can do the same thing with the hose connector over here. How's it going? Nice, almost done. Now the problem is it's pointing to the right and we have to turn it another quarter <laughs> downwards. So we're just gonna, we have a selection of tools here and we're just gonna see if we can get that pointing down. But it might, of course it's not gonna be as fast as we planned. Choose your weapons. Uh, yeah.
bilge pump hole under the deck for the one here by the stairs is in. Now I think we go to the engine room. The engine room already has the elbow joint. We just need this one. Also, it's a lot more spacious than in that cupboard, which is nice. And then we've got one more to do. This one for the bow locker, which is going to be nice and wet. We'll see if the B-mini can cover it. And then I think we can add the hose and the no return valve to the engine room and to the bow locker, which would be pretty cool. And that is if I can find them. Since MP in Orlando we're working on the 24 volt battery bank, uh, we don't have the 220 volt connected to that DIY inverter. So I'm just gonna flick on the switch for a second because we need light in the engine room. And over here, turn the main on and then figure out which one, there we go, is the engine room. So we're literally off grid right now, which is so cool. Remind me to, guys, remind me to turn it off after this. Once I fell through the sneaking pancakes, MP laughed a lot. So satisfying. All what's left to do is connect that hose connector to the bilge pump itself. We've got the hose. And also we're gonna put a no return valve in there. I'm not sure it's 100% needed. Don't know if it originally had it, but we have a Jabsco no return valve, which I hope was initially used for this because I'm gonna demonstrate what it was, what it does and hope it didn't come from a toilet is you can blow one way. Wait. I really hope it was a bilge pump before. But you can't blow the other way. So, I really, really, really hope. So uh, the way it flows, there's an arrow over there is the way we want the water to flow, like so. And that's just gonna come here, you can fasten it, or just leave it onto the hose, or hose clamp it to the frames. And that allows water to leave, and no water to come in. You don't want the bilge pump to turn on and that one of these comes loose and you just get all the bilge water that's leaving the boat in an emergency to just fill up your boat. <laughs> Our first uh, bilge pump is connected to a three hole, three eight no return valve with two hose clamps on each part, each end of the hose. Now we understand, we did get a few comments that um, you think that we understood, installed the exits of the bilge pumps under the water line because we did them in the same episode as the toilets. No, these are about 20, just under 20 centimeters above the water line and the bronze ones are from the toilet are under the water line. So this is the first one. To make it easy for you guys, everything that's stainless steel is above the water line. So all the little through holes that we're putting that are stainless steel are above and all the bronze ones underneath, just to clarify that. I'm very happy with this. I'm just going to fasten this hose into place so it's not loose, especially up here because we'll have the diesel tanks here and we don't want to have it moving around. And uh, now we can move over to the... I need to buy the hose still, but we can install one more. Let's go and turn this light off because we shouldn't be using this battery too much until we can charge it with the MultiPlus. Yeah.
got the hose, got the hose clamps. And honestly, it's such a mess here today. I think this is gonna be the last thing we do. We'll wrap up and tomorrow we'll have a lot of progress on hopefully the outside if it doesn't rain, but definitely on all the batteries and maybe even the toilets. So Louis down there is already connecting the hose, which has already been pulled through here, all the way under. So he's connecting that with two hose clamps and I'm gonna connect the elbow joint with the hose connector. Boats always have these small corners and it's nice that Luke's here because he gets in them and I'll do this one over here which is really nicely accessible. Don't like. <laughs> it was too easy. There's something wrong because this went too well. Anyway, I just need to put these planks back. I'm not going to do it yet. We might need to. I'd like to fasten it down onto the planks so it doesn't rub onto any of the other. F rub, rub onto anything. For now, I think we're just going to leave this room, shut this room, shut the boat, and take the. What is it? Not even afternoon anymore. It's lasted way longer than we thought. But. Uh, Come back tomorrow and finish doing some very progressive stuff. I think we have two connected bilge pumps to the three holes now, which is a big deal. Like one in the bow, one in the engine room, which means if no matter where the water gets stuck, it'll pump out. We've got one or two more to go. One more that's already in the boat and one that still has to be installed. But uh, I'm very, very happy with this. Thanks to Loic doing the hard work down there. I assume this was gonna be harder, but Anyway, let's wrap up, close this area, and head out. The boat is wrapped up, literally, and uh, we are wrapped up, well he is literally. I've gotta go and get my coat on because it's horrible outside. Today was a bit more of one of those slow days. Very happy we got the bilge pumps, at least two of the bilge pumps connected to the through holes, which is a very big deal. We've got two more to go. Tomorrow is gonna to be a very cool day. I think today we are kind of upgrade with our 24 volt battery bank connected to the panel and all the electrics. However, we need to find a way to be able to charge our batteries and that's gonna to be tomorrow hopefully and that's inside. I'll also do my best to find something really, really cool to do. If not, I'll probably just get on the scaffolding in the rain and start drilling holes where I need to for those chain plates because I've been wanting to do that for a while. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video. It gives us a bit of support in this rain. It gives us a bit of motivation, you know. And uh, thanks to everyone who's already subscribed to this channel. It means a lot to us. I'll see you guys tomorrow. How is food here? Let's see how it is.